Libra. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Libra Love Tarot reading. That was fast. Okay, I actually think it was here. That belongs here. That was really fast. <laughs> so Libra, we're going to try to move fast because it looks like your reading is already wanting to come down here. Wow, somebody is coming back. Somebody's having a huge wake up call, Libra. Okay, judgment card, the four of wands in the partnership placement, the knight of swords and the five of pentacles in reverse. Okay, <laughs> before we get into your reading, we're going to be bringing down a lot more. Another deck, probably some love messages, some channeled song messages. We will see. There's a lot around me. Astrology, dice, totems, you name it. <laughs> so let's see what wants to come in today. I just want to say welcome to your love tarot reading, your Libra love reading. And as often the case is the case here, Libra love messages reading. I'm channeling for you in... July 2023. Look at this. This is just how it's going today. I feel like it's these and it's this. Yeah, okay. This is how it's going. I'm channeling. Okay, so it's the Ten of Cups in reverse. Somebody here wants to upright this Ten of Cups. This is a no contact and or in separation reading. So we can see that there is a connection here that's been broken. We see that also in the Five of Pentacles, but we see they're coming back. This is your person's energy. It's where it's really the strongest, although they're everywhere here. They're having a wake-up call, wanting to see you again, have a reunion. It can be a physical reunion, even a particular celebration around friends and family. This is really strong soulmate energy. It's the sun in reverse, so it is a slow energy. It's the four of cups. Yeah, they're coming in here to talk, but it's not as fast probably as we would like it to be. The sun energy is telling us that I'd, there has been a delay here, but it's also constantly spinning here and it's a temporary energy that you're waiting for an outcome. Are you waiting for this Ten of Cups to upright again? I think so. This is Mars and Pisces energy. I feel like I'm not going to get to say <laughs> what I need to say. So I'm just going to tell you that you're here when you're meant to be here. So welcome. You could be here in July 2023. Libra, you could also be here months or years later. You're here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection. So welcome. There is something here for you. That's why you found your way here, whenever that is. Down in the description, you will find all the decks listed, all the playlists, all zodiac signs, messages from your person, all signs, love tarot readings. And if you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long in depth twin flame readings below. Remember, this is a general reading. So take what resonates for you and let the rest go. And please don't forget to like today's video and subscribe to the channel if you have not. This really helps the channel to grow. It's the Two of Swords in reverse that just kind of slid off. It wanted to be here. So yeah, there's some, has been some indecisive, confusing energy here. A decision that may have been made or hasn't even been made yet. But we see somebody's having a wake-up call and is making that decision. It's just not as fast as we want it to be. But boy... When it comes in, there's a lot to say. The Ace of Swords is in reverse. So what's interesting here is we're, we're seeing that this is in connection to the past energy because this is a lot of the, the bad decision I feel that they made. Bad judgment here. Some mental blocks, some dishonesty. But we also see in the very first placement, and you're both here in the Major Arcana, the current energy, which is... They're having a wake-up call. They're getting clarity here and getting ready to make a decision to get closer to their true purpose. And what is that? Well, it's the Four of Wands. It's you. It's their soulmate. It's Venus and Aries energy. Again, we see that it's kind of slow, and we also see that this is a connection that has broken. So it can be for some of you it's a legal connection, a separation, a divorce. But it's also no contact no communication, and or in separation. So for some of you, it's not necessarily a legal tie, but we see that the Ten of Cups is in reverse. So either you were there and it was interrupted, you were on your way there, it was on the table, whatever the case may be, it's now in reverse, 
And that can be building a life together, a family. What is that for you? It's quite strong, actually. But it's also blending families. It can be introducing families if you're at a particular point in your relationship or connection where that is the case. I need to bring in some more here. But I want to tell you this Five of Pentacles in reverse, this is coming back in. This is bringing back in hope. And we see right here under, underneath their energy is the Four of Cups. In the upright, this is the Moon and Cancer energy. This is coming in and communicating and opening up here. You're not totally having it. I can see that. There isn't an apathy that is coming through. And you can see the dog here is kind of... And you're also in this Two of Swords in Reverse energy. I have to say there's an indecisive energy here. Somebody that you love that obviously hurt you. Some dishonesty involved here. Bad decisions, bad judgment. But I do feel that you love this person. But I also feel this indecisive energy because the Five of Pentacles is now in reverse here. This is Mercury and Taurus energy. And this is telling us that, yeah, it was in the upright. And that's the loss. And that's the worry over it. And that's the separation. So do I feel your person is wanting to end the separation? I do. There's a, some reason why it's kind of slow. But we also see in the Judgment card that the Wake Up energy is here. The clarity is here. And making a decision which is ultimately connecting us to the sun and the four of wands in the upright, which is Venus and Aries energy, is going to be coming. It's a matter of time. This is a temporary energy. It's a temporary wait. But it's, and it's literally just what we see here. What is the wait for this? It's reunion energy. For some of you, this might be marriage, whether it's a new marriage, past marriage, proposal, can also be coming together. There's reunion energy here, celebratory energy here, and there's a homecoming energy here. And we can see that in the Five of Pentacles, that that is in fact what is going on. This is bringing back in hope. But there's a temporary energy of waiting for this. So it's a, yeah, it's delayed gratification, I want to say. And that's also connecting us directly here with the Ten of Cups, which is quite a beautiful energy. I don't love that it's in reverse, but I also know that this is telling us that there has been some trouble in this connection or it's disconnected. No contact, no communication, and or in separation. We know that look here. Highlighting the Two of Cups, also putting that in reverse, telling us more of what we already know. The separation energy. For some of you, breakup energy. And that apathy as they come in here with that cup. What is in that cup? Well, I do feel that that is somebody coming in here with the truth, making a decision to come in here, getting closer to you, maybe something even bigger. We need a whole lot more. But they're most definitely, it's catty corner here with the Knight of Swords. I feel wanting to talk. This is Libra and Mercury energy, and this is the truth too. You can see this dog is coming out of some quite stormy water. Looks like a storm here as well. So how how long have you been waiting? How long is the separation energy? Whatever case, whatever the case may be, is you you see this is coming out quite fast. You know, they need to get away from this. And it's also Mercury energy. And it's Libra and Mercury energy. And Libra, of course, is connecting us with the truth, with justice, with finding a solution that's for everybody, for everybody's highest good. Clarification, of course, communication. And Mercury, the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. So it's what they're thinking when things here, it's a timing issue. I don't know why we need to get into, get into it some more here. But we see that as what's in this cup. And there is an apathy look. And this dog is, is kind of looking over here, sort of a side eye to the three cups. That's the Three of Cups and it's Mercury and Cancer energy. And in this deck, it's really hard to tell. Is there, is there anything in here? I'm wondering if it's empty or not. And Mercury and Cancer is the Three of Cups, which is here. And again, it's Mercury. It's the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. And it's Cancer energy too. So of course, it's the Cups. It's really watery energy. Is this waiting for communication here, but not really sure because you've been waiting for a while, how you want to handle it, because there is an indecisive energy here too. And I'm wondering because there might be a compromise here that somebody needs to make. So let's see, let's see what else is going on. 
Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. And as I say that, I'm also hearing that I need to move the energy. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's the six of pentacles in reverse. And this is why you're... The apathy is here while well, you're kind of looking and you can see it here connecting with the Ace of Swords. This is the lack of giving here. This is the mental blocks, the bad judgment, somebody being dishonest. So they weren't giving you the truth. And look what it did to your heart. It looks kind of calcified and, you know, it's smaller, it's closed. The heart chakra is closed. So there's some closed heart chakra here, I feel like, coming from your end. And we can understand why we can see it. And it's a lot around communication and truth, Libra, which is a lot about what's what's going on, Libra, with you and your energy. The King of Swords is in reverse here. And look at that heart. It's right here on the sword. This is Gemini and Mercury energy. Gemini is all about communication. Mercury is the ruling planet for Gemini, also bringing in Virgo energy. And of course, again, it's the planet of the mind and the planet of communication, and it's coming in reverse here. So we see that this weight, this temporary energy of waiting to communicate regard to what happened, this sword is right here with the heart. That is the throat chakra here, the transformational energy with the butterfly. It's everything here, but it's also in reverse right here next to the sun energy. So it's a temporary energy of waiting for communication, clarification, the truth. And that's also why I feel you're a little bit closed off to this person because the Five of Pentacles was, of course, at some point in the upright. And either way, it's the Five of Pentacles and that Five is connecting us directly with the throat chakra. Lack of truth, communication, clarity, what is it? We also see it in the Six of Pentacles. There is a selfish energy here a little bit of one-sided energy so that's you giving more emotional availability truth the feelings here so this is what you've been waiting for let's see what else is going on okay so it's and i also feel like this was yours as i was bringing that in okay yeah that's also wow so that's the six of wands in the upright that's overcoming the obstacles here. This is the five wands, as you see, and that those are the challenges and the obstacles. And maybe somebody here, for some of you, that was playing some games. It's overcoming that, quite literally. Look, it's the wake-up call here. So do I feel that the sun is going to be uprighted? I do. The king of swords, the minor arcana is their day-to-day -day energies. Look what is here. It's the pentacle energy, their day-to-day -day energy. So everybody has free will energies, outcomes, they can, they will, and they do change. The future is not fixed. So what decisions are, are, are you making here? What decisions is your person making here? Because this is coming back in. And in this cup, it's quite an emotional energy. Somebody coming in here out of the blue, I feel, and surprising you because there's been a lot of one-sided selfless energy. And it's all around communication, clarity, truth. What is that about? Because the Six of Wands is not only overcoming that, but this could be a message coming in. And somebody who really wants, they really want to get through to you. Look, this dog here has their foot on the victory wreath. It's also wrapped around here with the floral wreath in front of the sun. The wands are kind of forming the sun here. And that's, of course, bringing in the sun energy, which we know is here. Look at that. So it's it's uprighted here. It's a major arcana, so we still need to see that. We don't need to see it in the upright, but it needs to be in the upright. And it's not quite there yet, but we see what's going on mentally here. Even, I want to say, against where they were in this Ace of Swords, because that's, that's past energy for me. The Queen of Pentacles is coming in. This is an energy of, well, it's making things work that were not working. It's growing the pentacle here. It's transformational energy. There's a lot of Mother Earth energy here. She's, for me, the protege <laughs> of the Empress. And there's a lot of hope in that. The Queen of Pentacles is looking up at the pentacle, which is also representing a sun here today. And that's the outcome. Again, that's also the crown chakra. And that's the knowing and finding the solution to making this work. 
There's a resourceful energy with the Queen of Pentacles. She can take things, she can get this pentacle nurtured. It's a very nurturing energy here. And yeah, interesting. So the Knight of Wands, look at that. They're going through fire here, leading with their heart. It's of course the Knight of Wands, it's Leo energy. And this is a very, yeah, it's a, it's a <laughs> kind of a lustful energy, I want to say, but it's also somebody leading with their heart and they're, they're literally going through fire here. For some of you, this might be your twin flame. It's not going to be for everybody. There is soulmate energy here for sure. And for some of you, it is somebody that you had or have a legal connection with, or that was something that was really what you were working toward or planning to work toward. But this is coming in leading with their heart. And it's pretty fast. I want to tell you it's the fastest energy. And there are a lot of these white horses are particularly emotional horses coming in. Here, sort of, they're all sort of stampeding together. Okay, look what's showing itself. Is this you? Maybe. Because there's an apathy coming through in the Four of Cups. So you're not forgetting what went on here. Obviously, this can be some breadcrumbing. And Libra, it's not a Libra card, but you're here. Look, there's the scales. And it shows a heart that's full and bright and beating. And there's one that's been neglected, calcified. You know, it's smaller. It's interesting because it's actually heavier. Look, it's weighing the scale down. So it's a heavy heart. It's a heavy heart in regard to somebody who's been selfish and the emotional. I feel like in the emotional giving energy. There's indecisive energy here for you because you're still here. I still feel you here. And the seven of wands is an energy of, well, first of all, it's Mars. It's more Leo energy. It's Mars and Leo energy. And it's a feeling of not wanting to be hurt. You know, this dog looks really tired. Look, it's holding on to one of the wands that's leaving us with Six Wands, yeah, so that's what you've been waiting for because these Six of Wands is overcoming the Five of Wands, which are the obstacles, not just, we have to look at this in a minute, not just in your connection, but also your person overcoming something here. For some of you, it's an age thing or just, you know, somebody maybe who was running from the connection, whatever the case may be. This is overcoming that and that this is literally what you've been waiting for. Look, it's right here and it's in the water. It's in, it's in the water where it's really very emotional. It's also the divine, divine timing and you've been waiting for that. And that six is also connecting us with making peace and restoring harmony, holding on to that wand. It's sort of like, well, yeah, look, this dog is is protecting themselves. So are, are you going to, you know, how much, how long have you been waiting and how long are you going to wait? It's turning into a bottoms up energy. Is this what you've been waiting for? Because it's an apology. And Libra, it's your energy. It's Saturn and Libra energy. It's in reverse. Yeah, this is an apology for you. This is offering healing. And this is that recovering energy, which we also feel here. They're coming in here for an apology. That's what this is. That's what you've been waiting for. Why are they sorry? Playing games? Not being sure of what they wanted? Running? Has there been some hiding of their feelings? I feel that. But I also feel what could be more of the connection that I'm feeling. is just an emotional lack of emotional availability. And that's going to connect with communication and truth, even before you disconnected for some of you with talking, that it just, it's somebody that's been struggling with their, communica their communication skills. So we know the Three of Swords, of course, we already know that here was at some point in the upright. And that's more Libra energy, of course. Well, it's Libra. <laughs> it's still the Three of Swords. It's Saturn Libra energy. Look, it's the red thread of fate connected right here straight to the heart the clock is on the clock is just past two here it's obviously the two of you that decision whatever happened here in this connection they're coming back in here with an apology we need to see a lot more and i'm going to be bringing in another deck but this is returning that hope here in the five of pentacles and again it's bringing communication in the truth it's just how receptive are you you know and is there a compromise here 
Is there a compromise for you in the way of location or something about this Ten of Pentacles with maybe for some of you that's bringing families together, taking your connection to another level that got stopped, introducing families, whatever the case may be. I feel like there's something that you really need. It's not even just an apology. Okay, we're keeping this. We're going to see. Whoa. Okay. Wow. All right. So this is, these are what are revealing themselves. We're going to bring in another, another card here. So yeah, that's what's in that cup. That's what's in that cup and those three of cups. So it's around communication. For some of you, there could even have been a, a point where you had a little bit of, a, of an argument or something that went on around a particular event. That's not going to be for everybody but it is here and there's somebody who just maybe wasn't admitting something. There's a selfish energy that comes through. A little bit of breadcrumbing to the lack of balance, which is real important to Libra. Again, it's not a Libra card, but you obviously come through the lack of giving. One of the hearts is, and the heart that was not getting enough, the one-sided energy here is heavier. It's the heavy heart. That's the broken heart and the three of swords and they're sorry. Libra, your person is sending in an apology here. They really want to get this apology to you. I know that you're, you kind of, you've got, you've got that wand, that seventh wand. That's you also assessing the situation. So are they just going to come in here? Maybe the knight of wands can be an impulsive energy and it's leading with the heart because look at what this judgment card has. And we're going to talk about the two of cups and the strength card, card here as well. It's Archangel Gabriel. The angel for messages, the herald of visions saying, wake up, wake up. You need to get clear, make a decision about what you want, your life purpose, your person, your soulmate. And we see that. We see that it's, they're farting around. As my mom would say, who's actually here as we speak all the way from America. That heart is right here for everyone to see look and there's the transformational energy they're all looking they all they all heard the wake-up call it's your person that's real strong and that's pluto energy and you're both here it's bringing in the connection that's bringing in the balance the duality that's bringing in the decision the final decision because we see here that there is some indecisive energy so this is also you and you are here as well what do you both want do you want to stay separated do you want to come together and come back together. Do you want to upright the Ten of Cups that's clearly been reversed and go into this Four of Wands? Get remarried, get married, move in together, talk again, whatever it is, it's here. It's reunion energy. We just see that it's slow. And we see in the Seven of Wands that you're holding on to that Seventh Wand. You've been waiting for the Six of Wands and it's here. That's them coming and it can be in a message. Overcoming whatever it is they needed to overcome and we see that here. You've been waiting for that. I still feel you here, but there is an apathy here and there's a little bit of confusion, but you love your person, Libra. You love your person here today and they love you too. It's the Two of Cups. It's Venus and Cancer energy. And where did we see that Two of Cups in reverse? Yeah, it was the highlighted cups and the Ten of Cups in reverse with the butterfly highlighting them, highlighting, showing that this is a separation, that there may have been some arguments here but also showing that you're still in each other's energy. You still love each other. This says Jake and Leela. So that might, that might resonate for somebody here, but it's also the decision again. And this is going here. Yeah, we don't always get the two of cups. And look what's right below it. It's the Knight of Swords. It's an energy of having a lot to say and coming in and changing everything. So changing their life and changing your life, trying to get the strength to do that. Some of you are twin flames. I know it's not for everybody here. I need to bring in the energy, but that's also about balance. That connects us to you, Libra. That's a symbol that's also connected to you. It's the balance here, that heavy heart, the lack of giving, the selfish energy, the truth, a solution that is the highest and the best path for everyone. For some of you, that means an actual compromise. It can be blending families, introducing families, how you're going about building a life together, or in fact, if that's the case, a family, whatever, going back in, starting new. There's a compromise for some, but there's an energy here of getting the courage, I feel. What do you both want to do? This is Leo energy. 
This is, of course, also the source, which we see here, the sun, which we know is going to be coming in the upright, and we know it is here. And again, that's the outcome. That's the successful outcome. What do you want? What have you been waiting for? What do you want to hear? Are you waiting for a message? Highly likely. That's the wait for the Six of Wands, guarded, but waiting. And then when they do come, a little apprehensive, obviously, we see what has gone on here in particular with the swords in reverse too, that there was some bad judgment and dishonesty, some block, somebody who just was making bad decisions and not making them at all, not communicating, not being clear, but we see that changing here. Are you still here? I feel you are. Will you still be here? I mean, you know that. I don't know that. Everyone has free will, energies, outcomes. They can and they will and they do change. Look at that flower here. That's love and growth. It's an offer. There's a reunion energy here too with that floral laurel wreath. And that's the sun behind it. So that's the strength to get the sun back in the upright and see where this is going. For your person, that's going into the four of wands in the upright. That's the homecoming here. Can it be bigger? Can it? This can sometimes be a marriage card. And so can the two of cups. That can be a proposal. It doesn't mean it is, but it can be a marriage proposal. So is somebody just trying to come in here and propose or repropose, maybe. But that proposal is also new beginnings. It can be proposing to get together. Okay, so I thought I was done. Guys, gosh, I don't know when that ended. <laughs> I hope I didn't miss too much. This wanted to reveal itself. I'm not surprised by this at all. You know what this is. Well, first of all, it's Taurus energy. It's divine masculine energy too. And it's a card of commitment. Also, that can include marriage. It's a long-term energy. It's telling us what we know here, that there, there needs to be some, well, it's Eight of Pentacles reverse. It's some repair work here. Look, in the Ten of Cups, that's in reverse. Some of you, that's a marriage. It's not for everybody. And whether this long-term energy was the, the actual time that you were together or you've known someone or telling us what was the plan here, what was happening, what's still here. Look at the dove coming up, making peace. You know, doves, they come in pairs and they mate for life. There's a peaceful energy here with the poppies. It's also the five here in the major arcanas, and that's, the tr that's connecting me again to the throat chakra, the truth. Communication, the throat chakra, clarity. You see all those dogs there. It's sort of like here also. It's sort of like the wake-up call that your person's getting to might be affecting other people. There might be a lot of other people in there going, oh, there, there might be somebody that has some influence is what I want to say, whether it's over you or whether you're, or your person. It's not going to be for everyone, but we can also see they're kind of going off here and somebody's separated. This dog is separated from the pack. And that's the conformity, the traditions, the expectations. So it can be that they're, they had somebody in the rear in their life or there's something that, yeah, that they were going with that's, that was holding them back from this connection with you. That can also be cultural and religious differences, distance, tied to their life, whatever that is. If you're on a twin flame journey, that can be another situation you know that they're in it's not going to be for everyone and i'm not going to go too far into that because it's not a twin flame reading but you know what i'm saying if you are on a twin flame journey and by the way there are twin flame readings down there in any case we can see that well yeah that there needs to be some repair work here there needs to definitely be some communication the apology is here that's not it's not really enough the love is here the apologetic energy is here also loving yourself, doing what's right for you. The eighth star and the star card was a gift to the strength card. And that's bringing in the hope for renewal and the clarity and having faith that things will work out the way they're meant to work out. The highest and the best path for everybody. The truth, lighting the way to the truth. Okay, we're going to bring in another deck, Libra. It's here. <laughs> It's one of my favorite soul decks, and it's just, I'm glued to it. I'm glued to it. It's in German. A lot of my decks are, as you know, I'm in the Austrian Alps. But don't worry about that if you are new here, because, yeah, there's not a lot of words on there, you know, and you're going to know. So let's see what's coming in, validation, clarification, maybe something that comes in and that just changes everything. But we can already see here that they're preparing to come in and maybe with a really 
really big offer. They may have even have come already. And this is another try here because that Four of Cups feels a little bit like maybe it's spinning. But they're coming in with an apology for sure. They're trying to get the strength to do that. They know that they were selfish. They were caught up in something here. I want to tell you in the Hierophant energy and also the Five of Wands, which they're overcoming. There's a huge wake-up call with that, with that judgment card. And you know, that's Pluto energy. That's regenerative energy. Okay. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. <laughs> They're both yours. All right. So it's the king of pentacles and the moon in reverse. I'm going to tell you, this is Pisces energy, but Cancer and Gemini are also coming through. This is coming in and communicating in a new way and opening up. Why? Because this king of pentacles here was not following through. There's such a strong energy of, well, yeah, some selfish one-sided energy here. They're sorry. They know this is clarity and the truth coming. These came together. In fact, they were stuck together <laughs> the way they came down. So this is that past energy here. It's more of this. We're going to keep them together. We need to do another shuffle here. Let me just move the energy a little, okay? Okay, that's really clearly yours, though. Yeah, so it's the two of wands in reverse. Are things... Are there some issues coming forward? There are. We can see that in the sun energy, so it's not surprising. And this is also you waiting. You're, you've been waiting here. We already know that. We see that in the seven of wands. It's the choice that they haven't made to come forward, and it's also possibly telling us about a bad choice, but we already know that. But I want to tell you something. Look at that world in there. That's the world card. It's the world, bringing in the world card for me. And that's completion. So is that toward uprighting this Ten of Cups. Is that an offer here to grow? This Queen of Pentacles we see here, they have clarity. They still love you and you love them too. And we see they're coming in here. They're overcoming some really big challenges and obstacles, I feel. And look, it's really, really connecting to the Hierophant energy. Whatever the case may be, we know that things are slow moving. We know that in the Sun in reverse. We know that there are delays, but we also know this is not finished. So are you coming together for something huge as things move? Could it be a marriage proposal? Libra, it could be. But again, remember that proposal energy is also, well, yeah, let's talk. Get back together. Whatever it is for you, you have been waiting for the Six of Wands. And this, and this is a minor arcana. This is one decision away, okay? One decision away here. Okay. I'm going to channel some more. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right. There's two here and there's one here. It's the Knight of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the King of Cups. My gosh. Okay. And I think this and this is yours too. We're going to take it in just a moment. Knight of Cups energy. It's in the upright here. So this is the Pluto energy. It's Pluto and Scorpio energy. It's connecting me with the judgment today. And there's the cup. We also see in the Four of Cups. There's the there's the reunion energy, which is also here today. Spirit led. I think this might be, <laughs> it's not a dog, but it might be Archangel Gabriel following them to make sure. This is emotional availability coming in. This is reunion energy. This is an offer. It's the Prince Prince Charming card. Romantic proposals. It's not always the case. Sometimes it's somebody telling us. So it's kind of spinning because I do feel there were some promises broken here. I do feel there's some, there is, was, and maybe still is some hot and cold energy. But everything here is telling us that they love you. You love them. They really want to have a reunion here. That's really clear. Is it only in the way of a message? Maybe. But it's also, I feel, for some of you in person, and we can see that. They're clear how they feel about you, and they know they need to come with the truth. We also know that they're not quite here yet. That's the Page of Swords holding on to the truth, watching, seeing what you're up to, kind of maybe making sure that you haven't left. And that's the King of Cups. It's Pisces energy, the master of emotions. How they feel about you is that they love you, and look what they're doing. You can't see them on their throne. Look what's in front of them. Their cup is full and it's spilled over. They're looking over here, a little bit of arrogance, you know, but look where they're looking at this sailboat. That's air energy. It's a sailboat. It's powered 
by air, by the wind. That's looking over here at you. You're literally in here, Libra, kind of waiting. Is Libra still there? Their feelings, I feel really in my heart, are just what we see here. It's over full. And they are checking up on you. You can quite literally see it here in this King of Cups energy, this Pisces energy. They're seeing things now, not so one-sided anymore. That's the Six of Pentacles past energy. They're trying to open up here and communicate and have a reunion and tell you what they want. And maybe it's really big. They're really trying because the past energy is strong of one-sidedness. This is seeing things that not one-sided. This is seeing... This is empathy coming through. This is a really beautiful energy, actually. But with that said, in this particular deck today, I also, it is a little bit of, <laughs> it's a little bit of emperor energy for me today, too. You know, they're kind of looking over, not looking straight ahead. That's because they, they're, they're saying, yeah, they're the master of emotions. They can hold them back. But the energy really that's underneath here is big how they feel, and they're making sure that you haven't left. Look, you're not that far. Look at the buoy. That's telling us that it hasn't gone that far out in the ocean yet. It's still close to the shore. You're not that far away. This page is keeping an eye on holding that truth, and this Knight of Pentacles is coming in here with it, and what else? Maybe something really big for some of you. Maybe. Again, it won't be a marriage proposal for everyone. That's just a matter of fact. But there is an energy of some type of proposal here. If this is yours. Okay, this doesn't surprise me at all. Look, and this is also yours, I feel. And <laughs> it's the Six of Pentacles uprighted. Well, yeah, that's what we feel. That's the, the not one-sided energy. That's the emotional availability coming in. And look, there's the scales now in the upright. They know. They're aware. And look what else is coming in here together. So these weren't together, but this is connecting also with the Knight of Cups for me and that Six of Pentacles in the upright because we know that was spinning. It's the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Virgo and Mercury energy here. Look, holding on to that pentacle. This is a horse with a lot of humility. That's the apologetic energy in the Three of Swords in reverse here. This is an offer coming in, and this is healing as well, as you can see with the lotus flowers. There are six here, and that's, well, yeah, that's restoring harmony and peace. It's communication. There, there's a sad energy here. I do feel this spinning because there's a, there is a lot of disappointment that's been surrounding, and we this is sliding off the deck. Okay, so yeah, that's the stuck energy that we've been feeling. It's the Hermit in reverse. It's Virgo and Mercury energy. Didn't we have the Hermit here today? I don't think we did. Anyway, it's telling us what we already know, that this is a separation. And there is an energy of being a little stuck, and I really feel that in your energy too, because you're afraid to be hurt again. Feel that actually more, probably more so with your energy, but this is a spinner for me because I feel like you were really let down, but this is also an offer. It's real clear that there's an offer here. So what is it? Is it a message with the truth? Whatever it is you've been waiting for. And I do feel like whatever that is, that it might come first in a message because you've been waiting for the six of wands. You've been, you're holding on to that seventh wand there. And that's also an energy of Controlling what you can and letting go of what you can't. So when when is the message coming here? Their cup is overflowing. We already know that in the King of Cups. We know that they're clear and that they're bringing the truth. And maybe something even bigger. Okay. Wow. Libra. We're going to stop with the tarot. I want to show you, though, the High Priestess is coming in reverse. Is this you, Libra? It might be. It's cancer and energy. It's divine feminine energy as well. And it's some clouded insight. Having trouble making a decision here. I think that's because of the love here. So is your person there? Yeah, I think they're there too. But I really feel you here because there's a, it's a major arcana. It's big, you know. And this lack of trusting yourself, I don't feel is something that you normally do. But in this, within this connection, you're having a hard time because you are really hurt. Okay. 
Clouded insight, blocked intuition. We're going to keep it here. And I'm going to bring in some channeled love messages, Libra. And then we're going to close your reading. And what am I feeling? I think I'm feeling here. That's what I'm feeling today. What do you want to say to your Libra? Messages from their higher selves. So channeled love messages, Libra. What does your person want to say to you today? You deserve everything. Come back to me. I'm getting it together so you can be mine. That's a real strong energy. Look, it's connecting with the strength card. I am so sorry. That's the three of swords in reverse, which has gotten buried with them knowing here that they're, they're clear they need to come with the truth, and they are. Six of pentacles is uprighted here, which means it's spinning. We know that. And we know in the king of cups that they know they were being selfish, and they're sorry, and that's a validation. I spy on you. <laughs> I, I don't know, <laughs> but that is the page of swords, okay? That is keeping an eye on you. I don't know how much I love the spying aspect, and this is my <laughs> card, but it's there. Believe it, I love you. That's going here. I was a complete jerk. Wow. And in that pentacle here, in that Knight of Pentacles mouth, that Virgo Mercury energy, that's Mercury energy, it's communication. It's communication is going to be the key here to obviously getting anything moving. Please know you are perfect to me. This, whoa, those are also yours. And this one, I play songs that remind me of you on repeat. I think I'm going to have to bring in channeled song messages. I wish I could come and take you away. Thinking about you. So thinking about you. I think of you so much that I see you everywhere I go. I can't tell you how much I miss our long conversations. Yeah. This is somebody I feel like that you've had great communication with, but there is a block here on your person side. <laughs> what am I doing? There's this energy of <laughs> it's stuck energy there. This is also yours. Okay, is that it? I feel like that's it. We're going to bring in some channeled love messages. Someday I am coming for you. My love is for you, nobody else. Remember, what's for you is for you. If you feel like it's not your message, it's not your message. If you feel you're sending it, then you're sending it. Telepathy is real. Okay, I'm going to bring in some channeled song messages. And today I'm feeling... A deck that I don't often choose. So what's in here that you need to see? It can be songs you resonate with in your connection or songs that you've been hearing or songs that resonate for you. There's always a sentiment behind a song. Sometimes there are songs you don't like or know. That's okay. There are messages here, even if it's one word, a location, something that I don't know. Messages from their higher self through channeled song. Pride has built a wall so strong that I can't get through. Is there really no chance to start once again still loving you, the Scorpions? Libra, I feel like that has been coming for you a lot lately. It's very goosebumpy. Because it's so weird, but that King of Cups here today had really has really strong Emperor energy for me. Maybe I didn't love you quite as often as I could have. And maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I could have. Willie Nelson always on my mind. It's two here. Please forgive me. I know not what I do. Please forgive me. I can't stop loving you. Brian Adams, please forgive me. It's more of the three of swords in reverse. If you want to know what pulls me through, I have one angel, babe. That one angel is you. Only one angel, Jimmy Lefave. This is was a really good friend of mine who has passed away now. It's been some years. I, I really want you to hear this song. If you have not, it's called Only One Angel, Jimmy Lefave. He's He was a master of covers, but also wrote a lot of his own music. When his music comes into my readings, which it doesn't do very often, it's very special. Conversations with you were like a... <laughs> it wasn't your face so much as it was your words. Because there's something about... What happens when we talk? Something about what happens when we talk. Something about what happens when we talk. Lucinda Williams. I stopped to see a weeping willow crying on his pillow. 
Maybe he's crying for me. And as the skies turn gloomy, night winds whisper to me. I'm lonesome as I can be, walking after midnight, Patsy Klein. Oh, you've got the wild card. So these are the last three. It's back. This might be your song today. I'm still loving you. I'm still loving you. I'm still loving you. I need your love. I'm still loving you. Still loving you, baby. Still loving you, the scorpion. So it's come back. These dogs <laughs> here. This is the wild card. It's a little bit, sorry, smeared. Because I will wait. I will wait for you. And I will wait, I will wait for you, and I will wait for you, and I will wait for you. I will wait, Mumford and Sons. Going here right on the, the, the Ace of Cups. <laughs> it's in German, so I know it looks a little funny. Tingle to his bones. Twas then he felt alone, and wished that he'd gone straight, and watched out for a simple twist of fate. Simple twist of fate, Bob Dylan. This is bringing in the Wheel of Fortune. The cycles of life and everything that you have been through. You were fated to meet this person. Your destinies are intertwined, whether that means that completion that we saw in the two of wands in reverse is you maybe continuing on your way. But for a lot of you, I don't feel that here. Or coming back together and completing something here that we know got broken, but they have a lot of regret. There's a lot of regret here. Beautiful Libra, beautiful souls, that's your reading today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's reading, please like the reading, watching and liking readings, sharing them, and of course, subscribing to the Tarot Closet. These are things that really, really, really <laughs> help the channel so much. I can't tell you, so thank you. I'm really grateful. I hope you have a beautiful day. I'm sending you love and light, and I look forward to seeing you at another love reading. Bye, Libra.